Hi, my name is Walek Bari. I'm a solution architect with Amazon Web Services. I would like to show you a brief demonstration on automated restores of Amazon S3 Glacier objects through the AWS Storage Gateway, as outlined in the blog. In this scenario, we have a share presented from the AWS File Gateway to a Windows client mapped as the S drive. In this share, we have a number of monthly files. Let's open the monthly summary for August 2019. As you can see, it opened up successfully. Now, let's try to open a file that may have been created some months earlier. Let's try the monthly summary for February 2019. As you can see, we received an error in opening this file. A reason could be is that the object is stored on Amazon S3 Glacier. To make this object available, we could manually use the S3 console or CLI to restore the object or we could use a different approach that we will look at now. Firstly, let's look at the Amazon S3 bucket, which is backing the file gateway file share. To look at the bucket object details, this opens the S3 console. Looking through the bucket, we notice the monthly summary for February 2019 is stored in the Glacier storage class and not S3 standard like some of the others. This could have been achieved using S3 lifecycle policies to tier out older data to lower cost tiers. This is why we received the error when trying to open the file. AWS Storage Gateway has added Amazon CloudWatch logging and metrics to File Gateway. With this, let's look at a CloudWatch log group we have created for our File Gateway. Let's click on the File Gateway share ID to see its specific log stream. As you can see, File Gateway has sent through specific errors when we have tried to access the offline objects, detailing the object name, and also the type of error in this case, which is inaccessible storage class. We can use these metrics with a Lambda function to enable automated restores of Amazon S3 Glacier objects. Now, let's go to a Lambda console. Here, we have the Lambda function we created as per the instructions of this blog to allow the automated restore of Amazon S3 Glacier objects when accessed by the file gateway. The Lambda function has two variables you can adjust. Firstly, you have the recall tier, which defines the Glacier Retrieval mode to use. Next, the Restore Days variable defines how long you want to keep the temporary object copy online. If you set up SNS notifications for the S3 bucket events for Glacier Restores, you could receive a notification when the object has been restored and can be accessed online. Now, let's go back and try to open up the summary report from February 2019 again. As you can see, the file is now accessible. With this combination of Storage Gateway, CloudWatch Logs, and Lambda, as per the blog instructions, we have been able to automate the restore of Amazon S3 Glacier objects via File Gateway.